Well, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to check out some of the pools that we have. Uh, I can see already we have some, some recognizable faces. Um, however, uh, I'm looking at this pool that we have. Han Rashid uh, is lying in wait. Um, there is a player in the bracket called Teking Master. That's literally who we're looking at on screen. It's Han Rashid versus Teking that is. Master. Oh, this bracket's not updated on my side. Okay, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let me give it a refresh. Hang on a minute. Um, now, what actually really interests me, and I, I don't know if we'll even have a chance to see it, um, is Chanel. The Tekken legend is in this pool. Ah. I had no idea Chanel even played Mortal Kombat, but apparently here he is. But we'll see if he's able to make it through. Um, unless, yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah they haven't played yet. Han Rashid they recently played picked yet. up. Uh, I can't remember the name of the team off the top of my head. It's only just kind of begun. But Han Rashid recently picked up by a team. Han Rashid is one of, I, I suppose, one of the uh, like the. Um, I think he's one of the unsung heroes of Yeah, yeah, definitely the, the word I was looking for. You know, he's quite low-key, right? Like, the community knows he's strong, but he's never seen to be, like, this this, this top-tier threat, like, you know, Dragon Scar. But he's really strong and is consistently getting better and better. I mean, naming um, I know, He just won Wednesday Night Fights as well, I believe, this week. So he's uh, coming off the back of some momentum. Naming some of the other players that we know. Rainbow Pride, uh, Daddy, formerly known as Buffalo, uh, in this pool as well. Justin Xavier from the UK. Coach Steve might be seeing some Coach this Steve later on. This is going to be quite a rough ball. Obviously, Tekken Master. We haven't actually seen Tekken Master here, unfortunately. He could not make the trip this year. We miss you, dude. We'll see you next time for sure. And Han Rashid with that Cabal. Cabal seems to be a really strong choice for clean players, right? People that just want to play footsies, they want to react, they want to have options like that full screen. And that's exactly what we're seeing from... Uh, oh, it's, Te it's Tekken Master as Cabal. No, the names were swapped. My, my mistake. Yeah, Han Rashid's been using Liu Kang for a fair while, but now he's getting a... Wait, was that a... Was that, a, was that a buffer or a bag, Jake? What do you think? The guy's name is Teching Master, and it's 2Ks, so probably a bag. I think we have quite a... A troll on our hands who messes up the wake-up attack, but at this stage, doesn't matter too much. He's going to get the reward, but I wonder if it's going to come down to one last hit. Close games. Trying to stay safe. Ooh, and I, res I respect the attempt. I, mean, I respect the attempt, but I think Han Rashid, of all players, is going to be ready for something like that. Well, at the very worst, at least Tekken Master is like out of the corner now. So it could be worse. Obviously, losing the round is never ideal, but still able to uh, position himself better, at least. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah this, this full screen game to me is, is interesting. Yeah. Liu Kang has nice. underrated good projectiles. There's that crushing blow. Breakaway's been forced, so no full combo here. But it's going to get rid of that all-important resource from Han Rashid, who now kind of needs to press the advantage. He's going to get guaranteed punish. I sometimes forget that that one is actually unsafe on oh, block. Oh, max damage incoming. Gets the 404. Now he has uh, two crushing blow throws ready to go. Next one is death. Not even going to go for it yet. The parry attempt. Oh, I respect it, but Tekken Master's not going to press. Oh, drops the ender though, that's yeah. unfortunate. But gets a reset. Um, Rashid, no bar. Oh, he has, might be dead. This, I mean, this, this, this doesn't a, scale that much. There were a fair amount of hits used in the combo, but at the same time, this Fatal Blow does a pretty no, decent definitely, chunk okay, definitely damage. Not, definitely not, definitely not. All right. That last little bit doesn't do very much. Yeah, of course. And now. Oh, oh my get god! Get down here, my he son! Picks him up with the mid into the overhead. Hell yeah, that's gonna be one round each teching master. Uh, looking not so much like just a troll. This guy knows how to play more combat. Oh, absolutely, dude. Oh, and there's the uh, the hit though from Harm Rashid. We know Harm Rashid still has those um, those tech, the, the crushing blow throws still oh, ready, oh. locked and loaded. Yeah, he was going for the uh, higher optimized combos again. Harm Rashid, not afraid. Ooh, and there revenge. it is, revenge, revenge in its highest caliber. And he is standing one as well. Where are you going, mate? Get back down. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tactical bag into the neutral duck because it just went hand in hand. That was amazing. I'm Not a big man. fan of that. That that is a bit of a turnaround. Tekken Master decided to take a split second when he had the life lead in round one. Get a little tea bag in there, just, just for a split second. <laughs> that Han Rashid not, o <laughs> not only noticed, but repaid the favor. That is time. Liu Kang saying, do not disrespect me again, my lord. You know what I thought though? Han Rashid spent that entire last round with a crushing blow throw ready to go, and then proceeded to hit like every mid. I wonder if Tekken Master was just afraid of that throw the whole round, and Han Rashid knew it. Now the down three is going to low profile that projectile, but you know one of the things that we see these high level cabals do, and oh, that's going to be a punish. Let's get the amplify, build towards that all important crushing blow. But uh, I was saying that the cabal players, you know, when they know they're going to get maybe we're punished, they amplify the blades just to stay safer. Okay, nice, simple meatless combo though from Techie Master. Ooh, nice. Oh, the jump kick could have got more off that, but wasn't able to. Still lively, but that's going to soon disappear as Harm Rashid manages to get this bicycle kick. Push the mid screen, which is going to be. More useful for Tekking Master, I think. Han Rashid really thrived on the corner last time. Oh, wow. Tekking Master was... All day. He was willing to throw the entire round away on this. He's going to amplify. 
All right, this is bad news now because he has no reason to go for the crushing blow now. But in the second round, of which now Harm Rashid's on match point, he's got a crushing blow bicycle kick locked and loaded into massive damage. Still, though, match point already for Harm Rashid. We've seen a lot of Liu Kang play today, which means we've seen a lot of quick games. And there's the whiff punish. Gonna blow the crushing blow. We're gonna see the fly kick. Ops not to spend the bar. Just, uh, I think that if you amplify it, you end further away, whereas if you end it normally, like just like that, you're a bit closer. That was a good interrupt, acknowledging the cancel. He's going to get the 1-1-1 one, one, one free, throw counter as well. Harm Rashid pressing buttons. However, I'm still, I'm looking at taking Master's health and I'm eyeing up that bicycle kick. If he gets at least one of them, uh, that's going to be pretty much half his life gone in an instant. And oh, a flawless block. And there it is, just like that. He was looking for it and he shall receive full combo and uh, that's going to be almost there. He's going to spend the second one just to get closer. And there it is, just a meaty down two. There's the fatality to Harm Rashid in complete control that entire time. Techie Master, he had a good round one in the first game, but it very quickly escaped him. You know, on the back of that round one comeback from Harm Rashid, looking very clean as always.